overnight magic mushrooms may become available if the Silver State passes a newly proposed bill in the state legislature. Nevada Democrats want to decriminalize the use of small amounts of the psychedelic and study the benefits of other controlled substances. I spoke to a UNLV doctor who says this could be a game changer in Nevada's mental health and opioid crisis. They are not your typical kind of mushrooms. These are magic mushrooms. And if a bill is passed, their use may be decriminalized for adults in Nevada. These are powerful, powerful substances. Neuroscience assistant professor at UNLV, Dr. Dustin Hines says magic mushrooms are fungi that produce psilocybin, a naturally occurring psychedelic. Dr. Hines and others believe shrooms can help with the brain's healing process of mental disorders like post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, depression, and addiction. Really promote growth in those connections in the networks that is natural or better. He says psilocybin might even provide a solution to Nevada's opioid crisis and drug dependency. That psilocybin has a huge effect on use. So again, this could put Nevada at the forefront of research institutes. Dr. Hines says he is thrilled Senate Bill 242 has been introduced in Nevada. It would decriminalize the use of magic mushrooms for people 18 and older in amounts smaller than four ounces. So these are all the connections. Dr. Hines showed me how the psychedelic affects your brain. Even the tissue looks different. You have more little granule cells. Nothing's been recruited. But how do people in our community feel about the possible decriminalization of this psychedelic? It helps a lot. It actually like it gives you a new perspective on life. Jared Whitcomb says he uses magic mushrooms and claims it's helped him deal with his anxiety and recover from an addiction to cigarettes. Jared Watts and his wife say they'd give the green light for medicinal purposes, but they have their concerns about people taking advantage. In alcohol, people abuse that and get in car accidents. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be any different with magic mushrooms. Another major concern, overdose. It's very unlikely to overdose. We talk about something called the LD50, the lethal dose, and that's very high for psilocybin. Dr. Hines says the legalization of marijuana has paved the way for bills like this, but he says more research still needs to be done. They're completely different, um, and I think the therapeutic benefit for marijuana is high, but I think the therapeutic benefit for psilocybin is even higher. Now, for this bill to become law, it would have to pass both the Senate, set, the both state Senate and Assembly, and then, of course, it would have head over to Joe Lombardo for that final sign-off, Tricia. Yeah, and if it should become legal, I would suggest that people definitely talk to their doctor before they use it for anything for mental health, right? Well, certainly, and the yeah. doctor that I was talking to today, you know, said that this is going to be revolutionary. If they do pass this, it could even put many opioid and other prescription drugs out of business. So, pretty big deal. It'll be but interesting. Like to you see said, you got to be careful. Very much so. Mm -hmm. All right.